Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 340 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out this AOA Studio Dewy Cream Duo Chrome Highlighter that I got from Shop Miss A. I have this in the shade Dream, but this comes in six different shades and because it's from the Shop Miss A website, it's only $1.00. It's cruelty free and the AOA Studio brand is also paraben free and this is also vegan. I am so excited to try this out. I'm kind of fascinated by duochrome makeup. I just think that they are so cool and beautiful. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any recommendations for duochrome makeup because I love to try them out. I've tried out some really cool products that are duochrome before on my channel, but I'm so excited to see how this one looks. Let's start out by swatching it. Whoa, it's a very liquidy cream texture. I was not exactly expecting that. And it's kind of a thin cream as well. This looks really pretty and really dewy. It's like a peachy gold copper sheen. So it does have a lot of pretty reflection and kind of like rainbow color to it. It's really beautiful. I cannot wait to see how this looks on my skin. So I'm going to start out by applying it. I'll apply it with my finger to this side of my cheek. But then I also might want to try applying it with a dampened beauty sponge. So right away, I'm noticing that it doesn't apply it with that much pigment. So I kind of took a lot on my finger, but I'm going to go back in with a lot more. I'm going to be pretty generous with applying this. And I mean, that sheen, it's showing up, but it's more subtle than I was expecting. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can let this dry while I apply it to the other side, and then maybe I can go on top of it with some more. So excuse the, my dirty makeup sponge here. I just used this to apply my foundation, but it's still fine. I can use this to apply the highlighter as well. Just use a clean side. Oh, wow, okay. Applying it with the dampened sponge applies so much brighter and more pigmented. That's kind of surprising. But wow, this is not looking smooth on my skin at all. It's looking so textured. It's moving my foundation. That actually looks really horrible up close. Hmm. Let's see if I can blend it. Yeah, like completely. I'm trying to get closer completely rubbed away my foundation. Oh, so annoying because my foundation was looking so good. All right. And also it, it hasn't even dried down. It's still very dewy and moist in texture. Comes off on my finger. This did not go how I expected at all. It's not very pigmented. It does not sit well on my skin or on top of makeup. Wow, this may have been one of my biggest failures of AOA Studio products that I've tried so far. And I was so excited and hopeful about this. I mean, maybe I could use this as like a cream eyeshadow, but the thing is it doesn't dry down and it stays so moist that it would just feel uncomfortable and sticky on my eyelids and it would probably crease very badly if I tried to do that. So wow, such a bummer. Oh well, hopefully I can find some other duochrome highlighters to try in the future. I would love it if AOA Studio made one that was not a cream formula. Hmm. Oh well. 
Thank you so much for watching this video today anyways. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.